For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Sending you guys a bit of a uh, product review video on a new awning from Dometic. So with me here, I've got the Dometic uh, Eco Legera Air 220 and also the 260 uh, Redux. So <laughs> a lot of words going on there. So Dometic itself is the actual brand. Eco refers to the fact that it's basically made out of um, sort of waste material. And that kind of also is a bit of a throw with the Redux name as well. So the whole Redux idea is necessarily based on they take, um, say, a plastic bottle or single-use plastics and basically revamp it and make material out of it. So you've got a lot more kind of uh, eco kind of story involved in it. You're essentially using something that's going to be going to waste uh, and using it for good. Uh, and essentially, bear in mind that awnings are all made from kind of well, polyester, which is sort of pretty much oil anyway. You know, that, that means it's a really nice cycle that we've got kind of this whole story where we're creating something that's probably a bit more eco-friendly uh, and reusing something that, like I said, is, is going to be just chucked into landfill anyway. So uh, what we find is actually in the kind of redux range, which they've got a range of tents and awnings and driveways, um, one sort of 500 mil bottle, uh, well, sorry, 10 500 mil bottles that matter, will equate to about one square meter of material. So in the slightly larger version of this, in the 260, you find that actually it's about 220 bottles go into making one awning, which is actually not an awful lot when you think about it, you know. You can more happily easily get through that in a few weeks or so, let alone a year. So that's a really great little story to it. Not only have you got kind of the eco fabric, but it's in the Laguerre style. So Laguerre is a really nice, easy porch awning to go up. Small, compact, lightweight, but still durable and well-made. And that's one of the joys of it. There's a few sort of different features into the kind of eco version that is in the normal range. Um, first of which being this kind of full fronted mesh area at the front um, and sort of the mesh door as well. So ventilation is very key. So the joys of this means is you get great breathability. And if you want just something to sort of put the dog in the night or chuck your shoes into before going to the caravan, this awning's perfect for it. Not only does it fit caravans, but it also is compatible with motorhomes. So you've got a dual beading on the actual a rail part as well. So it has a six mil to go into a caravan or a four mil to go into the wind out of a motorhome. Now it's got a height fitting range between 235 and 265. What you've got is almost two brackets. So you've got 235 to 250 as we see it here. And what you can actually do is increase the height by this very clever little zip that's located internally and also externally. And that basically then expands and goes up to that higher threshold, meaning, you know, it fits motorhomes quite nicely. It also means if you have sort of very un un uneven pitch, you can extend one side down and kind of take up the slack. The beautiful kind of, kind of fabric is really nice and waterproof. And again, you've got kind of little guide points here. Single point inflation, so you've just got one beam to pump up. And we've done our own kind of at walls pitching and packing video on this to kind of clearly show you how quick, simple and easy it really is. I think it only took me around about four or five minutes to peg out it, which means it's well, idyllic for going away just for a weekend. Uh, or if you want to go for a way a bit longer, you can also do so. Obviously, it's just a bit more inhibitive on the space. A manual pump can be supplied with it as well. So it's, again, nothing you have to worry about. Uh, and if you want to, you can buy an additional kind of canopy. Immediately, it'd be the normal Laguerre canopy, which would zip onto the front part here uh, and extend it out to give you a bit more shelter. And that works really nicely when you've got a canopy in, in point with kind of the mesh door located behind. This is a normal door as well, so the normal door zips up completely vertically up. And there's no reason, little rascal, why you couldn't in theory just kind of use the ladders supplied with it and bring that out to a canopy. In fact, you've even got kind of eyelets built into the, the mud skirt, which you can just extend that out and do so as well. If you don't want the mesh in place, you've simply got a normal kind of uh, door just to kind of enclose it up. And that's going to give you also the privacy as well. So it matches really nicely into the fabric. And again, all we have to do is then just roll it up. I'll do a bit of a quick job just to get it kind of sorted. And then we've got toggle points just located here 
so nice and neatly just tuck it out of sight. And then we've almost got like a kind of an open canopy. So the overall depth is 2 250, uh, so 240 apologies. Um, and what you find is then you can choose your width. So either you go for a, a 220 wide or a 260 wide. For me, I think the 260 is more, more popular. In terms of you look at the price, it's not a huge amount of difference and you get a bit more space. So I think for me, a 260 works well. But for those who want just something a little bit smaller, the 220 is more than adequate. Additional storm straps you can see here really help to give torsion into the roof. Uh, and you get, again, you can pick and choose those as you please. I do like the fact that you've got mesh side doors as well on both sides. Um, so that really is going to help with the airflow and certainly want to keep the dog a bit cooler on a warm day if you're sort of inside of it. Then it works nicely. But I'll tell you what, let's just bring the camera around and try and give a bit more of an idea from the front of it how it kind of works. You see kind of a bit more of a, oops, a daisy, ing round. And kind of as we come sort of flat directly kind of into it, You can see yeah, again, good sort of high. It's got kind of a, a webbing strap located down the bottom. That's really to make sure that you don't kind of overspray the beams. It makes sure that that footing is quite nice and neatly. You've got the um, kind of mud skirt here as well. So that kind of can actually peg kind of inside. And again, you can buy additional kind of breathable flooring to go down over the top of that as well. So it kind of makes it feel a bit nice and cushioned. Additional extras you can look at are things like rear poles to basically seal it against kind of the caravan or motorhome. And you also, it's limpet compatible as well, so you want to use some extra bits of stick against it, works really well. In fact, let's put the camera up and bring it aside to give you a bit more of a real feel for it. So, you've also got a rear vent up in the top corner as well, again, to kind of really help that airflow. And you do find these suffer an awful lot with condensation, um, which often can be quite misleading to think it's kind of leaking, but. It's a really nice kind of structure. Things like uh, wheel arch covers would be an absolute extra because it depends on if you've got a sort of a single axle or a twin axle, and you've got kind of that sort of internal zip located there if you wish to extend it up. The foam pads at the back here to really press that nice and firmly against the caravan or motorhome again, and you've got different sleeves. Now this actually Velcros back. So if you've got a motorhome and kind of uh, want to um, almost take up the gap between where your uh, wind out protrudes out, that's where it's kind of quite key because what you find is that that part almost works on like a hinge kind of style. So it's sort of, uh, that's flat against the caravan like so, it can Velcro back and just take up that little bit of sign like a hinge door. So that's a really nice little feature. Overall, I think the Gero is, is short, sharp and sweet. It's small, compact, does what you need to do. Big without being too big, uh, and certainly idea for just say just throwing up and certainly the eco fabric, the finish it feels really nicely, it feels really nice as well, especially with that zip as well. It gives the functionality to still use as a normal Ligero, but for a price point, I believe it's a little bit more money. But with the extra features of the mesh, I think it's a worthwhile investment, especially that whole kind of you know reusing kind of waste plastic, I think is quite crucial. And the way that gets done, to be fair, is that they uh, will take plastic bottles and essentially almost melt them, put them into kind of a extruder, basically it extrudes it into thread, then the thread gets also get woven into uh, material, material into the awning itself. And what you also find is that, I think to be fair, it also has a little bit, it feels like it lasts a little bit longer, whether that does come to fruition or not, or from our experience so far, and certainly in the past with this kind of eco fabric, is that it tends to have a longer lifespan, a bit more rigidity, against kind of the UV sunlight. So whether that is, that, like I said, whether that is true or not, or we're only seeing time goes by. But overall, I think it's a nice new model for the range. Nice to see that there's something going along that kind of is thinking about kind of its impact. And we're not just kind of, again, just using new. It's nice to kind of recycle things, um, hence kind of the uh, Redux name. Uh, but overall, for more information on this product, you can check the link below. And always by all means, check out our pitching and packing video that we've got on this as well. Um, but yeah, that in essence is kind of the new Dometic Legera Eco Redux, uh, the 260S and then the uh, 220S.